Hi there. Today's tech talk is about how to reset your Moodle course. Now, resetting your Moodle course is not a really complex operation. It's just a series of small decisions to make, but it's one of those operations that you only do once a term. And so, um, even the simplest processes, as you well know, if you only do them every so often, they kind of leak out of your head and you forget how. So, we have a little step-by-step -step here how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. And here we go. So I've already in this course shell gone to the administration block and clicked on reset. And that's the page we're on right now. And on this page, I've also already clicked on expand all. And on all the sections, I've already clicked on show more. So we have all of the view of all the options here. Now, when you are resetting your own course shell, you may or may not see all these options. These are just, that's just dependent on whether or not you have a given feature. Like, for example, if you have choices or you have forms or you have quizzes, turn it in assignments, et cetera. If you don't have them in your course, that won't show up in this, in this reset interface. So the first thing to show you, basically, is under the general tab, the general section, I should say, under course start date. If you click the little question mark, you might be interested to see where it says, if the course is reset and the course start date changed, all dates in the course will be moved in relation to the new start date. So you have your overall course start date. Let's say in this case, we're gonna go ahead and make it uh, the start of this coming summer term. So we typically recommend that you delete all events, notes, comments, completion data, and blog associations, whether you use blogs. It's safe to go ahead and check all these boxes here. The next section under roles to unenroll users. Now this only relates to any students, let's say, that you have enrolled manually for whatever reason. This doesn't impact auto-enrolled students. So we have the auto-enroll process that will automatically, of course, enroll your students, and then in one fell swoop at the end of the term, after, the, after each term is over, your LMS admins, Eric and I, we unenroll all auto-enrolled students in one fell swoop. This feature in the course reset to unenroll students only applies if you have any manually enrolled students in here. So if you don't have any manually enrolled students, uh, it won't matter whether you click this or not. So that's one reason we, we try to uh, shy away from recommending enrolling students manually because that's one more step to remember to do at the tail end of the term like right here. So if you don't have any manually enrolled students and you go ahead and click student, it won't hurt anything though. It will just take any out that you may happen to have in there. So moving on down, I'm looking at my notes here as we go along. I would say it's gonna be a good idea to delete all grades in the grade book but probably not all items and categories. If you have, especially if you have grade categories going on, you have them there for a reason and you want to maintain those grade categories from term to term. So we usually don't recommend that, but we do recommend deleting all grades because uh, previous term students earn grades that your future term students aren't going to need. So regarding groups, you might, if you're even, if you're not using groups, don't worry about that, but if you are, we'd recommend checking the box that says remove all group users. And again, if you're using a choices, a choice type activity, uh, and you've got responses in that activity, you can remove all responses right there. And so in forums, of course, you're probably going to want to delete all forum posts uh, if you want to just specify a different forums in here, but probably a good idea to just delete all forum posts probably delete all forum subscriptions so that students aren't notified uh, if they happen to have initiated a subscription in a forum. They don't, you don't want them getting notifications for, for forum posts for courses that they took in the past. Uh, regarding quizzes, uh, we would recommend deleting all quiz attempts, all user overrides. A user override is a is a way to accommodate, let's say, an accessibility needs student who, for example, might need one and a half or two times the given time limit for a quiz. So if you have, the, if you have any overrides in a quiz, you can delete those overrides for the future term by checking that box right there. Um, course feedback activity, we recommend that. 
Uh, if you have any certificates, recommend that. Uh, Turnitin assignments. If you look at the choices here, to copy Turnitin assignments or to replace them, we're recommending copying them so that there's no chance that a previous term student who completed a course or previous term version of a Turnitin assignment, there's no way that a future term student would be uh, uh, submitting to that previous term turn it in assignment. So I would recommend copying turn it in assignment. You can see the explanation here, creating duplicates. It, it actually creates a new turn it in class on the turn it in side. Of course, if you're not using turn it in, you can forgo uh, this whole previous segment on the turn it in assignments. So the last piece down here, I would recommend under assignments to delete all submissions so that again, you're cleaning up the submissions from previous term, getting ready for the new term. And of course, at the tail end down here, you'll see to reset course. And that's basically all there is to it. So as you can see, as I go back up, it's a series of small decisions. Probably the one that's gonna impact you and save you the most work is this very first one here regarding the course start date. And by the way, I'll note that this course start date, don't look at it as, look at it as a souped up version of the course start date you see in your course settings area. If you go to your administration block, to edit settings, you can change the course start date that way, but that doesn't, remember what this says here, that doesn't change the dates of all the activities uh, in relation to the new date. So you, that's the only way to do that is within the reset process under course start date. Any questions or ideas or suggestions on this, uh, feel free to walk in, call, uh, email us, and we can answer your specific questions about resetting your Moodle course. Hopefully this gets you started on the right step. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.